All right, what's going on guys? Had no intentions of making this video, but UPS just pulled up and it triggered a thought. I was like, man, this might be something that could help somebody somewhere like it ended up helping me. Quick backstory, I was hunting, deer hunting, probably five, six years ago, five years ago, I believe it is, and about a hundred yards from my truck and I hear a glass shatter. Immediately knew my truck had just been broken into. I took off running, ran up the hill, and looked over the hill, and sure enough, there was a guy robbing everything out of my truck. Um, I yelled at him. Of course, I had a firearm. He saw that. He immediately jumped in his truck and sped away. I got the license tag, but did not recover any of my merchandise. Well, one of the things that was stolen out of my truck was my duck call lanyard, and of course, had all my bands on it. Probably one of the most disheartening things to have happened, you know, in a long time was to lose that lanyard uh, with my bands on it. I've been very fortunate to harvest a handful of bands, uh, some here in North Carolina, a couple in Arkansas. I'm only 34 and have been very privileged to get five, six, seven of them. And to have lost that lanyard was just devastating. So I went years without my bands, without my lanyard, Got a new little lanyard, put a new R&T call on it. I lost my R&T call that my wife had given me when we were first dating. Um, there was actually a rubber band tied to that lanyard that was a rubber band I pulled off the neck of a ruddy duck when I was out hunting one time. So just all kinds of nostalgia there, gone from a thief in the night. So for years, I didn't do anything with it. Then I stumbled upon what is called the National Band and Tag. Um, it's a company that produces waterfowl bands. They replicate bands. If you've lost them or had them stolen, they replace it. They can duplicate them to, so you can replace them. If you killed a bird, uh, group shot a bird, and nobody knows who killed it, instead of flipping a coin, and you know somebody gets the original, but they can also duplicate that exact same band so that everybody could have a part of that hunt. And so I toyed around with the idea of, all right, is that just kind of cheap and, a little bit vain to have my bands replicated if they're not the actual original bands. And so I struggled with that. Um, finally decided, I said, you know what? This company verifies that the band is authentic. They, you have to send in your certificates from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. You send those in. It's a very lengthy process. It took about six months, seven months actually. This was like October, November of last year. And after you've sent all that information in, they have verified that your certificates are authentic. They have verified that yes, you are the harvester of those bands. They then replicate the exact band as far as the metal type, the sizing, the printing on the band, and of course the band number. And I was like, you know what? It, it would be as close as possible to the actual original band to have everything fully authenticated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and to have those exact bands replicated. So I said, I'm going to do it. I said, I, it won't be the exact same, um, but I think it'll still be pretty cool to in some way to have replicated those bands to have those. So UPS just showed up. We're going to unbox this and see what they look like. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, I can only assume they look just like the original ones were. All right, so you can see National Band and Tag, and they are out of Newport, Kentucky. And what they have done for me is they have replicated all of my bands and put them in you know, each of the corresponding packages based on which band number corresponded with what. So they've got individual packaging here. And I can already tell by the sizing that these two are, one's a bluebill, and one is a wood duck. The wood duck was harvested in Terrell County here in North Carolina. The bluebill was harvested in Arkansas, Lonoc County, Arkansas. So those are two duck bands. These, I remember by memory, are medium-sized band. These are a snow goose um, that we killed in Arkansas. This, if you've watched my snow goose jump shoot video, you saw we had killed a snow goose band. Um, only one, but the Buddy and I that were hunting together, we flipped a coin for it. I won it. Um, never really seems fair, right? Because who knows, 50-50 chance. But I took this opportunity when I had this one remade to go ahead and get a duplicate 
to give him one. That's just as much his as mine. So those are snow goose, or was a snow goose. And these two are two different Canada bands. And these are actually kind of unique. I actually didn't kill either one of these Canada bands. I used to do lake and pond management in Greensboro, North Carolina. And there are a lot of banded geese, Canada geese in Greensboro from a research program NC State did. And I was fortunate enough to find two dead Canada geese during my lake and pond management days that both were not only leg banded, they were collar banded, which is really cool. So now I've got the leg bands again that match the collar bands. So that was two Canada geese I actually found and recovered and reported. I did not harvest those myself. And then of course this year, if you watch my Canada goose video where I killed a band, this is the original authentic band off of that guy, which was pretty cool because I had shot it in the leg and you can see where the pellet hit it. Um, so these are my bands, two Canada geese that I found with neck collars, Canada goose I harvested this year. Snow goose, we harvested in Arkansas a jump shooting. I got a duplicate made for a buddy. And then a wood duck and a bluebill. So this is really cool. I'm excited to have these. They might as well be the originals. They look the same. Uh, the numbers are the same. They have been authenticated by the Fish and Wildlife. It's not like a metal engraver just made these for me and said, here you go. These are very authenticated. So National Band and Tag Company, if you need a duplicate made, if you wanna put a band on your lanyard, but also on a bird you mount, you can get them and make a duplicate for you. If you lose them or if somebody steals them from you, you can get them remade again. So I'm gonna put them on my lanyard and wear them as if they were mine. Um, they mean the same to me. I know in my mind they were harvested or found by me and reported as such. So I'm gonna wear them and be proud of them. And if you have the same situation, I highly recommend you look up them and uh, see if they can help you out. So just pretty cool, wanna share that with you. Thanks for watching guys. Uh -huh.